four, three, two, one, and liftoff. What secrets lay beyond the next crater? Could man live and work in space? When we left Earth, the NASA missions goes deep inside the film vaults of NASA in a quest to reveal stunning new images in high definition. The Explorers looks at how technology developed during the Apollo program to help man reach the moon would be used to turn astronauts into lunar explorers. With NASA's new emphasis on research, mission training would be radically changed. The crew of Apollo 13, all skilled pilots, became skilled scientists. April 11, 1970, launch day. The crew's destination, the moon's Fra Moro Hills. The primary mission, sampling. An explosion crippled Apollo 13, two days after launch. Uh, here's the way had a problem. What started as a mission of science became a mission of survival. Lovell, Swigert, and Hayes were forced to abandon the command module and seek refuge in the freezing lunar module. The nation held its breath as the crew attempted a perilous return to Earth. Odyssey Houston, we show you on the mains, it really looks great. Apollo 13, Apollo 13, this is recovery, over. Uh, under Apollo 13, this is recovery, and your shoots look good. NASA, determined not to let the near tragedy set it back, launches four more Apollo missions. Expanding its arsenal of machines with the lunar rover. Apollo 16 astronauts Charles Duke and John Young became the first to go off-road, covering almost 17 miles of the moon's chalky surface. December 7, 1972. Apollo 17 would make the final moon landing of the 20th century. Its crew holds the record for the most time spent on the lunar surface. Three years after Neil Armstrong became the first man to walk on the moon, Gene Cernan became the last. NASA's desire to explore worlds beyond Earth did not end with Apollo. Their next challenge was to transform a Saturn V rocket into a living and working area on a scale never before seen in space. Skylab is born. During deployment, a solar panel was damaged, threatening the entire mission. NASA engineers and scientists worked around the clock to fix it. The station underwent extensive repair during a spacewalk by Joseph Kerwin. Skylab was now open for business. Crews would spend the next eight months in Skylab pushing the boundaries of what it means to live and work in orbit. The technology of Apollo enabled man to reach the moon and created the world's most remote laboratory. Space, once the domain of test pilots and adventurers, had become the home of explorers and scientists. 